Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Good morning, Bernice Tarabi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I want to thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas, as I broadcast across the nation on an FM platform. And I get to speak to personal finance expert Bernice Tarabi. She wants to know what are the best food delivery apps, or she's going to tell you what they are and how to choose from among them. Bernice, let's talk food early in the morning. I love it. <laughs> right? Who doesn't want to talk about food at any time of the day? That's correct, but we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to talk about food apps. Yes. Tell us about these delivery apps. I mean, it's a growing industry, $270 billion, and we're talking about these popular food delivery apps like Grubhub and um, Uber Eats and DoorDash and Seamless. And we have a lot of options, a lot of ways to order food from our fingertips. I think what's driving the industry partly is the convenience factor. You know, life gets busy. I don't know how to cook everything and I get hangry. So I want to eat when I want to eat and these apps deliver. Well, that's a great opportunity to explore different cultures and cuisines. Yeah. You don't have to cook them. But what about the quality of, of, of the, is there a disparity in using the app? Some are easy, some are not. Well, I think what's really important to take note of is that even though all of these apps are super convenient, what you're going to pay for, for the same meal at the same restaurant, may be different depending on the app that you use, that not all these apps are created equal when it comes to how much they charge in things like service fees and delivery charges and upcharges. So really important to comparison shop and be aware of those differences. We see an explosion in people using the apps. Why are we doing that? Why is there such a, a growth in this? Well, I mean, I think about my own life as a mom of two. My husband and I, we both work, and another, neither one of us in particular loves to cook, although, you know, we do cook at home many times throughout the month. But, um, you know, I think that the convenience factor is really the driving point, that you can literally you know, be hungry at 5 o'clock, and by 5.30, you've got a warm meal on your kitchen table, on your dinner table, from a restaurant that you love, and, you know, you can support local economies, uh, but really, it's the fact that our lives are getting so busy. We do so much already on our phones, right? So why not order food? How do we assess hidden fees? markups and service fees then. So again, really important to comparison shop. And there was a, a national study recently done through a Wall Street analyst firm. And they found that, you know, Grubhub consistently came in number one, first place when it came to affordability and transparency of their pricing. Um, it's not going to be the same across the different apps. You really have to be aware of that. We looked into how various companies differ in Dallas as well. We placed the same order from restaurants across Postmates, Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. One example was Lekka, where the same order saw a difference of nearly $10, with Grubhub again being the cheapest option. Um, in this case, the three other services charged both a service fee and a delivery fee. So I think that's where you really want to zone in on, on that uh, payment page is like, okay, am I getting a service fee and a delivery fee? Is there a way to avoid this? Let me check some of the other apps. All right. On Facebook, my audience told me they wanted more quality uh, people talking about the topics in the media, period. So we stepped up, and I want you Great. guys to know that Farnoosh Sharabi is a personal finance expert, an author, a speaker, and a coach. And she's a fe frequent contributor to Yahoo. So you've seen her on ABC, the Today Show. You know, you've seen her a lot of different places. So we're going to take this advice and use it well. Once again, so if they're thinking about using Grubhub and all these other apps, where do, where do they go to get more information online? Well, you know, I've partnered with Grubhub, and while we don't have a specific, you know, resource for more tips, I do want to share with your viewers and listeners that, again, comparison shopping is important, but also make sure that if you are consistently interested in ordering from a specific restaurant that you do that because sometimes they'll give you kickbacks, freebies, and things like that for being loyal to them. So loyalty pays off. And then by the way, you know, you might have some food in your fridge, your cabinets in the kitchen. Start there before you quickly go to the apps to order food because if you are interested in saving money, you know, that's a great place to start. Cook from home. Who knew? That's, ah, that's a great tip for right. you. Thank you so much for inspiring us with food early in the morning. Have a great day. Have a great morning. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.